Today is Wednesday and it's February 21st. Uh, I've been spending a little more time with playing with uh, using the piano and um, instead of using the videos and it's been helping out a little more now because I can actually hear my voice clearer instead of hearing it um, kind of intermeshed with coach's voice at the same time. Uh, however, I have noticed that it creates one more thing to think about while you're trying to focus on the singing itself. So to kind of help automate the process a little bit, I decided to go ahead and kind of create a, like a reference track using Ableton. Um, one of the cool things that I've noticed about this, it's, it's going to help with timing because every single pass is going to be exactly the same. Um, I've basically broken it up. What I did was, let me bring this out here. So you can pretty much see here, we're going to start off at C3. We're going to go up the scale up to C5, and then we're going to come back down to C3 again. And basically the way I broke this up was, let me pull this up real quick. So... Um, I was kind of inspired by one of the videos I'd seen with uh, Coach and Sergio, and it's kind of what brought this pattern up. So basically what it is, it's, it's, a, it's all in all, it's a total of five bars. Uh, the first four bars are going to be to kind of get your ear tuned for, for the pitch. The second four bars will be for you're releasing your onset. The last two is for holding and maintaining, going through your workflow. And then the last bar is going to be for a rest. So it gives time to breathe. <laughs> and um, yeah, so just kind of show you. Oh, I need some, I need some audio. Guess we should have done this at the beginning. <laughs> All right, so just to kind of give an idea of how it'll go. Again. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Hold on, where you at? Oh, that's why I have this track turned off. So I basically continue doing this all the way up to C5 and then back down to C3. So um, let's start some practice. Um. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hmm. 
So that's one round of the track and release onsets. And as you probably noticed, uh, the microphone was not playing through the speakers and that was mostly just to prevent any type of feedback. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and export this as an audio file and I'll include it with the journal entry too. So in case anybody wants to use it or play with it, have at it, so thank you. So I just finished doing the quack and release onsets and I wanted to share this because I thought this was kind of interesting too. Um, Ableton allows you to color your tracks, right? So going through the quack and release, I started to remember that, oh, that's right, I gotta change my, my nasal consonants, right? So what better way to do it than color code it? So now I could, I know when to use M, N, 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 M. So it just kind of helps with the process too. Thought it was kind of cool and wanted to share, so. So I just finished doing the window release onsets uh, using this track. And because of the length, it's four bars, and we're not doing the resonant tracking at the, at the very beginning, you need to learn to phonate with less respiration. So it's actually teaching me to use less velocity and be able to decrease the amount of air that I'm using. So I'm actually singing quieter, but I'm able to control it a lot easier. So finding more benefits.